Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Daudis? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao, and let's talk about Jing Yuan. For many of you that don't know, Jing Yuan is, of course, getting a rerun banner when Sparkle is active. So that's going to be in one or two days from now. And I wanted to talk about him. Is he still worth pulling? You know, what can I expect? Can I use him? Is he smart? Blah, 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 blah. And to keep a long story relatively shorter, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go over what he provides, of course. Because, of course, the memes, Mid Yuan, everything, right? All jokes aside, I think I don't even have Jing Yuan, right? But I think Jing Yuan is a solid character. Um, I do have to admit that you're gonna need to put some effort in him, in him, in um, in a lot of ways. You need good relic stats team building and stuff to really like let him shine um because every character i say this every time every character is usable right you can use any character that you want and they will clear all the content in the game if you put your time and effort into them that's just how it works free to play will everything all of it works right but jing you want your edition lightning um has follow-up attacks, and that's his selling point, right? The Lightning Lord, he just comes from the sky and then deals damage every so uh, every few tur turns, right? And um, thoughts on that. The th big thing is that why I would say skip him. Because this video is about skipping Jing Yuan. Um, it is very, 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 very rough, guys. That there's a Lightning character... That has AoE and Ekron is literally three weeks after him. I would be a fool to tell you guys to pull for him if Ekron is probably just gonna be maybe the best DPS in the game. A lightning character. It's Nihility instead of Erudition, but she's gonna have, there's no way, you know, they're gonna have AoE attacks as well. Like, I don't know. It, it is very, very rough to say go for, pull for him. When Ekron is around the corner. It's literally out just after, right? And I don't know. It, it, that is that is what is making me a little bit ick in my brain. Like, um, yes, uh, Iridition character. Yes, Pure Fiction is probably his main thing that he's going to prevail. If you have Topaz on your account. If you have, you know, other supportive units that really, really um, help him shine. Okay, he could work, right? But do you really want to skip Ekoron for a lightning DPS by getting Jing Yuan? And that is a little bit of a why. Like, why would you do that? Of course, throw everything out of the window if you're playing for fun. Always do this, guys. If you like Jing Yuan, you like his character, his design, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Pull for him, without a question. This game is about having fun, right? It's about having fun, it's about playing the game, it's about enjoying the characters that you love. If this is your favorite character, that is the number one priority, right? This is why you play, having fun. Video games are for fun. Jing Yuan gives you that, without a doubt. Like, without a question, you're gonna pull for him, yeah? Promise me that you'll do that, because it's way worth it for p characters that you like. But, this is for... The min-maxers, the free-to-play, I want to clear floor of uh, Memory of Chaos 12, stuff like that, right? There's no way in God's green earth you're going to skip Ekron for Jing Yuan. Like, if you have summons, you have them saved up, and you're like, oh, I really need a lightning character. Please go for Ekron. Wait three weeks, don't do this. I, um, he's still good. Every patch he's getting upgrades. I agree. He's getting love. He was like at the bottom, but little bit, little bit, little bit. He's like taking steps, right? But it's not going to be on Ekron's level, ever. Like, it's just... Um, if you like follow-up attacks, right, again, if you like the kit and you just, for fun, you like the follow-up synergies and stuff, this is your guy. But for stats, I'm sorry, stats and numbers and, 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 and value... I am going to say this is the most giga skip of, I think, in this almost 10 months that we have. Acheron is after him. Why would you pull for this guy? It's a bit rough to um, 
It's like one of the easiest decisions, in my opinion. Because when you have, right now, when you have Dunhang and Sparkle, you kind of want those together, right? So you want to pull for Dunhang and then for Sparkle, and then you're like, oh, my tickets are getting low, right? And then stuff along the way like that. But this is like so easy on paper for me. For me, at least. For me, Maxing. Don't forget that part, right? So like, it's sad. I, I love this character, man. Like, I, I think he's so cool. Lore-wise, man, oh, the Lightning Lord and everything. He's always like, calm, the general, you know? He's like, so sick, but... I, we trialed him before, right, in the story, we, uh, spoiler alert, in the story, um, there's like sections where he goes into your party, you have a trial, um, it was like, eh, yeah, fun, but not my cup of tea, and it's just like, yeah, I, I, I like dots, so Kafka was already a step ahead of this guy, right now Kafka as well, just way more value than him, I think, in my opinion, he works, he's fun if you like it, and he's cool, everything, but... Value-wise, it's still, like, if there's S plus, S, and A, he is chilling in the A tier. A tier still good, right? But Acheron is, I am pretty sure that's going to be the S plus. And for value, guys, I can't, I can't tell you guys to pull for him when she's around the corner. And it's just, it's, it's rough. <laughs> it's just not going to work. It's just, um, is is what it is. And, um, yeah, I mean... He has some cool uh, stuff in his kit, right? Eidolons, I mean, Lightning Lord Attacks, Damage Multipliers. Of course, every copy you're gonna get is just gonna be better, but E0 and free-to-play friendly and all of that. I'm pretty sure Acheron's just gonna take the spot. Although, there's the controversy again, right? And I'm telling saying this in like almost every video now, that the Acheron is not free-to-play friendly because of the Light Cone issue. And I'm telling you guys again, you don't need Light Cones, um, there's always going to be a good option for everyone to, to shine. And Eurydition light cones, on the other hand, are, I think, can you can can we buy good ones? Because if we go here and we check um, the uh, Eurydition ones, this one, right? This one's free. Increase the wearer's damage by 12% for every enemy defeated the wearer. Yeah, it's pretty, this is a good, uh, good option, right? Um, I would say, I don't know, this one... I feel like this is going to be the Acheron free-to-play go-to, in my opinion. Uh, this one right here. When the wearer inflicts a debuff on an enemy, gains a stack of trick. Every stack of trick increases the wearer's damage dealt by 6%, stacking up to 3 times. This effect lasts for one turn. When the wearer's effect hit rate is blah, blah, blah. You get more, you know? So, like, I, I don't know. I get that it's not, like, the greatest thing ever. Maybe Acheron doesn't even need effect hit rate. We don't know yet, but... It's, it's, um, it is one of the relatively easier options to get, I think. What's the other nihility option? Um, this one, right? This is two dots orientated, I think. Increases the break effect dealt, 16%, increases the damage to enemies affected by shock and wind. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing, um, if you're playing Acheron with Kafka and Black Swan, this would work probably. That, that would be a cool, maybe, thing to do. We would need the numbers and the stats for that, of course, but... Overall, while we were here, of course, the Eurydition Light Cones are relatively um, okay to get for free. Don't forget, the Simulated Universe is going to get probably more Light Cones overall as well. We don't have a Eurydition one yet, correct me if I'm wrong. Increases the attack by 60% when the wearer uses an attack and at least two attacked uh, enemies have the corresponding weakness, the crit rate. You know, like, there's some ways to build around uh, free-to-play Jing Yuan as well, right? But overall, I would say that we're just gonna chill with Acheron instead of um, the normal Jing Yuan mode. And I think we are going to see that in the live service as well. That Acheron is just gonna be leaks above Jing Yuan. So right now, sadly guys, for the main maxers, safe your... Please, please, please save your jades and go for Ekron instead of Jing Yuan. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if Jing Yuan is worth it still or, um, you know, the situation. I mean, it probably would be worth it in a long way, but along the way, but it's more about gameplay at this point, I feel like, for the Lightning DPSs. Like, Kafka for dots, Jing Yuan for follow up, and then Ekron again, Nihility. But Ekron, I don't know. I you, you'll be crazy. You can... Hey, you can have a different opinion, but I think you're crazy if you're gonna go for Jing Yuan instead of Akron. Hey, 
Again, if it's for fun and character liking, always above anything, right? Pull for Jing Yuan if you want to enjoy the game and you don't care about the other stuff. Hey, have fun, pull for him and, and reach the top on MOC with him. It's going to be a lot of fun to probably chew, speed tune and all of that, right? But hey, don't, don't do this for the min-maxers. Go for Ekoron. That's what I have to say. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I would love to hear your takes. And make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. It means the world to me if you could. I love you all. And have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.